you're gonna have to do this quick. And that is about as good a hold as I am going to get. Whoa, look at that stinger. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the warrior wasp. Here we go. One, two, Swallowing up really, really quickly. Ugh. Hold on, back to the table, back to the table. Okay, so what is happening right now is the venom is getting into my bloodstream, right? And what's happening is it is breaking down the membranes around my blood cells and it's causing them to scatter. Now there are cells in there that are neurons, right? Those neurons are sending messages to my brain that are screaming pain, pain, pain. And trust me when I say there's massive amounts of pain going through my arm right now. Mm. The initial onset is not as bad as the bullet hand, but it's an electrical shock similar to that of the tarantula hawk. <sighs> Hold on, let me compose myself here for a second. Uh, 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 oh my gosh, the pain is actually getting worse as time goes on. And I don't know if that's actually the venom taking hold or that's just the neurons firing to my brain saying, you are in a lot of pain right now, Coyote. Hold on guys, give me a second. Uh, you can see the red? You seem more squirmy. Uh, like you can't sit still. This is this is more of a continuous sting than the bullet ant was. This is this is this keeps firing. This just keeps firing. Cut this GoPro. Oh. All right, Coyote. It's time for the aftermath. The warrior wasp after sting special. Yeah, you know it's interesting between when we stopped filming and now, because we took a little bit of a water break after we wrapped the episode, look at this like dark spot in my vein. You see that? It's almost like a broken blood vessel or something like that. And you can see just how red the sting zone is. It's interesting, my, my forearm reacts in a very similar way to every sting that I take, but this one specifically, does still feel like pins and needles coursing yeah, through. You actually like, like turn your arm. Yeah, you can see like where it like, yeah, yeah. crests out. It's almost like you can you can feel it right there. It feels like a golf ball under there. Yeah, it's like a goose egg. Like if you hit your head real hard. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you're impressed? Yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely impressed. Um, you know, it wasn't quite the theatrics of the of the bullet ant, but to be honest with you guys, it was painful but not as as bad as i expected and i think at this point we do know that the bullet ant is the king of sting uh it, it holds strong on its throne and that's totally cool totally respect that but what we want to do now is actually apply a little relief to my arm because it is really hot and really stinging and you guys know we always use sting kill so let's see how sting kill works up against the sting of a warrior wasp will this help with the burning Works against bullet ants and yellow jackets, so I'm gonna go ahead and wager that this is gonna feel great. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. The green. Whew, yeah, that'll wake you up. Benzocaine and menthol, my two favorite things. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. 
You know what guys, Stingkill is in my adventure pack and in an instance like this, I'm going to apply it because we do have a very long hike out of the rainforest back to our jungle camp. And um, I just want to make sure that my body is reacting well to the venom. And you know, back to the actual sting of the warrior wasp, it is very different than any of the other stings I've taken. And it does feel like the venom is continuing to work and trigger my neurons to say, ooh, sharp pain. And then a couple seconds later, ooh, sharp pain. And that's what I'm experiencing right now, just continuous pain. Have you ever pricked your finger on like the tip of a cactus or an actual sewing needle or a safety pin? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Ah. 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 Oh no! Ah. <laughs> now it's in your hand! Coyote? Yeah. Why do you always get me in these situations? Sorry, man. Like a band-aid? Like a band-aid. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, that hurts! Oh. Can you imagine what I'm going through? Oh right my now? gosh, it feels so much worse to you right oh, now. Oh, first blood, first blood. Okay. That's what it feels like every few seconds. It's just like boop, boop, boop. And it's, uh, it kind of radiates in this entire like egg looking area on my floor. And look at that. You can see all the liquid under the skin at this point. See that when I move the. Oh, yeah. See it moving? My skin? It's almost like a water balloon. Yeah. Uh, that is my body's natural defense to the venom. It is forcing water into this area so that the liquid breaks down the concentration of the venom. That venom is working very hard right now to keep me in pain. Now, imagine if you were to stumble upon a warrior wasp nest and be stung many times. It would be extremely bad, especially if you were stung in like the face or your neck or near your eyes. Uh, the arm. Look how much swelling there is in just an arm. So I can imagine if you were stung all over your body, it would be really, really bad. So Coyote, out of all the uh, insects that you've been stung by so far, which one has been the most intimidating? Definitely the tarantula hawk. I mean, nothing could ever take the place of how intimidating that insect was. I mean, it was massive. I actually imagined that the warrior wasp would be a lot larger than it was when I actually saw it in person. But when it comes down to it, oftentimes it's size that is scarier, but not always the sting that is more potent. And a smaller creature like that has more powerful venom to help ward off any potential predators. Would you say the warrior wasp is worse than the tarantula hawk? It lasted longer. At this point, my arm definitely still was not in pain from the tarantula hawk, and I still have pins and needles going through my forearm right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm still in pain. I'm just managing to compose myself really well right now. I got a question. Yeah. Can we, uh... Can we maybe take on another challenge? Like, fluffiest animal out there? Like, what's the cutest baby animal that exists out there? I don't know. Coyote Pack, you tell us. Do you want us to climb the cute baby animal index so that we can get the cutest animals up close for the cameras? I'm sure everybody's writing in the comments section right now. Cute animals, no, unless you're gonna get bitten by them, you know? How about like the slimiest creature? Slimiest creatures, yeah. I mean, I'm sure we could come up with our own index to climb with a number of different cool things about these animals. But um, when it comes to stings, yeah, guys, I believe we are at the end of the road as far as what has been tested out before and and what we know. But the adventure continues, right? There's a whole lot of adventure ahead. Oh yeah, more episodes than you guys can possibly imagine. The Brave Wilderness Train is a rolling, and trust me guys, heading into 2018, it's going to be absolutely epic. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Ready for some dinner? Ready for some more adventure, let's do it. All right guys, so we have looked up Vespid Wasps of Latin America, and I have found out what this is. Just after we finished filming the warrior wasp, we came upon a species whose sting had yet to be officially documented and ranked on the insect sting pain index. Could this sleeping giant be the dark horse that would emerge from the shadows to claim the throne as the newly established king of sting? There is only one way to find out. I'm going to be stung by the Executioner Wasp. Did you see the full Warrior Wasp Sting episode? If not, make sure to go back and watch as I go skin to stinger against this incredible insect. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure.